I'm Stephanie Gomolka with Oxygen.com, and I'm joined with Tara Newell, who has a new podcast, and she's working on a book. Her story and her mother's story, Deborah Newell, was featured in Oxygen's documentary, Dirty John, The Dirty Truth. So thank you, Tara, for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's So we were just talking, and it's been three and a half years since the encounter with John Meehan. Yes. How has your life changed since that moment? Um, well, it's changed so much. I don't work with dogs anymore. Um, I am basically a full-time advocate and I am here in New York right now trying to place laws for coercive control and trying to talk about getting them in place here and what we could do. Um, I came with Laura Richards. Uh, she was in the Dirty Truth documentary mm -hmm. and so I'm doing that. I'm also writing a book um, and I have a podcast so I'm just doing a lot of things to kind of bring light to relationships, what happened, red flags, and how you can kind of have a healthy relationship or like spot the red flags. And I do a segment in my podcast called Dirty Dates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just like point out all the red flags that happen on the date. <laughs> so. Right. And so uh, tell us about, uh, tell us a little bit more about the podcast, what it's called, who are the types of people that you're talking to? Okay, so my podcast is called Time Out with Tara. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I talk and I interview a lot of interesting people, a lot of people with stories, and then just a lot of influencers, celebrities, and so on. Um, we talk about dirty dates, but I also like to interview them and get to know them and see what they want to promote, what they want to talk about, because I feel like when you go on a podcast or a TV show, you have like an outline of what you're supposed to talk about. It's mm -hmm. not whatever you want to give. And just in terms of the book, is the book along the same lines of talking about those red flags or is it just more about your life? So it's going to be about my life and my childhood and the event that happened and then the aftermath of that and how I was able to cope with everything, get help, and how I was able to spot the red flags with John. Um, and for people who aren't maybe familiar either with the Bravo show or with your story and your mom's story, can you tell us a little bit about it? My stepdad tried to come after me and I was able, able to defend myself and I ended up killing him and defending myself. Mm -hmm. And you've talked a lot about the PTSD and being diagnosed since then. What has it been like sharing that story with the public? I feel like people have more so compassion mm -hmm. because I went through such a traumatic event. And a lot of people go through traumatic events, maybe not what I went through, but it's a trauma. And unless you really know what's going on with you, you can think you're crazy. And so I felt like I was crazy at a certain point because I would have these meltdowns, these triggers, and I wouldn't know what to do. And I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I was just better off dead. I felt like John should have killed me. And so it was really important for me to get understanding of that. And now that I have understanding of that and I put it out there, there's so many others that are able to relate and be like, okay, I'm not crazy too, you mm -hmm. know? What is that like too for you to know that you're, you know, putting out your message for other people that maybe are going through something similar? It's really encouraging to connect with others and to hear their stories mm -hmm. because we're humans and we're supposed to connect and get to know each other. We're not supposed to be alone. And so I feel it's important to do that and have this kind of circle or niche. <laughs> Thank you.